sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? No. It's just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Well, the bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah ha Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Okay. Hmm. Es esto? Srastucho, tovarishi. And welcome to our new Let's Play of Grim Fandango. And I gotta say, I'm really excited to do this Let's Play for a number of reasons. Um, first off, when I unveiled it in my video log a couple weeks ago, a lot of people, you know, wanted to see it. People who have played the game, you know, know how good the game is. But that's not the real reason why I decided I was going to do this as a Let's Play. The real reason is that not a lot of people knew what Grim Fandango was. And that, you know, made me uh, a little upset. And But uh, to be honest, I don't blame anybody. I mean, it's uh, this game was made in 1998. So, you know, it's uh, at this point, uh, you know, 13 years old. And, you know, uh, that's an old game. And, and on top of that, you can't get it on Steam. You know, you can't get it on goodoldgames.com. You know, unless you pretty much have the original disc. And even if you have the original disc, getting the game to run on a new computer is not an easy task. So I thought I would do this game, you know, and uh, hopefully let the people who were maybe a little bit younger and didn't experience uh, this game uh, help you experience it. And uh, believe me, it's it's one certainly worth experiencing. Looks like I got a message. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. 
Oh, I'm just gonna check to make sure. Okay, I did put the uh, the volume uh, down because I tried doing this let's play actually a couple times, and uh, it's a deck of cards. First time the footage wouldn't work. The next Better time the audio cards. wouldn't work. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. And hopefully, you know, this time it'll work. So just you know, uh, Grim Fandango is a adventure game, and uh, this is again made in the 90s, like I said. And during the 90s, it, the adventure game genre was huge, and it really kind of died out at the end of that decade. And, and Grim Fandango was one of the last hurrahs of the adventure genre, and it turned out to be uh, one of the best. Buenos dias, Manny. Why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? Yeah, the Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Oops. Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Well, I gotta go hit the bricks. Okay, you show those bricks a lesson. But, um, there's, there's a couple things I want to say. Uh, oh, jeez, sorry. Getting used to con the controls, you know. This was, uh... Back in the days when controlling a 3D character was about as smooth and intuitive as controlling a tank in quicksand. But uh, I, I gotta say a couple things about the footage for this game. Um, you know, it's an old game, so it doesn't exactly look the best, and you know, getting it run running wasn't easy. And as you can see, there's uh, some graphical flaws. Like for some reason, whenever Manny runs somewhere, he leaves this nice oil slick behind him, which gives me an easy and convenient way to trip up enemies in case they were chasing me. But when I go to do a video, I want to make sure to keep the resolution as uniform as possible. So I'm just gonna pace around here and I'll, I'll teach you some of my video making secrets. But what that means is that when I record the footage, I wanna make sure the game is in uh, a 920, 1080p resolution, cause that's the resolution that my monitor's in. And then when I go to start a new video project in Adobe Premiere, I wanna make sure that project is in uh, 920, 1080p. And then when I export it, I want to make sure it's in 920, 1080p. And if you keep that uniform resolution throughout the whole video creation process, you end up with some uh, uh, good looking videos. However, because Grim Fandango is old, I couldn't figure out how to change the resolution. Right now it's stuck in 600 by 480 resolution. So what that means is, you know, the, the game doesn't look all that good but I mean it, it was a pain in the ass to get this footage to you guys in the first place I'm not gonna worry about you know making it look astounding like I said the game is 13 years old but if you have you know any ideas about how I can uh, you know increase the resolution or you know anything like that uh, you know, send them my way and I'll see what I can do hey service Hey, who the... Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect... Sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No. No, no, no. I don't ride them, just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. 
Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Looks like I need a new driver. Oh! I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Gladys, Gladys, is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. <laughs> you want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies, just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> You're not too big. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, 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 that's my line, getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Bye, Gladys. So... In case you're a little bit confused on what we're doing right now, um, basically Manny is is a salesman, and he sells travel packages uh, for getting across the land of the dead into the realm of eternal rest, which was kind of what the whole uh, first. That's the elevator to the lobby. Yeah, thanks, man. I didn't know that. Anyway, he. Sells better travel packages so people can get across the land of the dead. And what the memo I got at the beginning of the game was was my boss saying, "Hey, uh, there's been a mass poisoning, lots of dead people. You gotta go get some clients and uh, you know sell them good packages." And also, you know, Manny's stuck here; he can't leave. And begin his journey to the land of eternal rest because he's done something bad in his past and he needs to pay off that debt. So you know, it's just a it, it's just a bizarre world that uh that was created for this game, and you know, it's it's something unlike any other. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, great, Zeva. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Just so you know, like I said, I do I've done this a couple times, so I know, you know, the ep the opening segments of the game pretty well. Unfortunately, just
getting this thing to run was not fun, and then getting it to be able to record was also not fun. But you know, I'm here now, and I've di and I've done it, and I'm I'm glad that I was able to to complete it or complete that task. Oh, go in, Manny! Come on. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'm still having trouble getting used to the controls. Also, uh, when I go into this view here, this is me checking my inventory. And, um, you know, you just cycle through the crap that you have in your in your uh, jacket, and then you can look at it. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. And then, you know. This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. Then again, so am I. And I've got fewer suits. Oh, I need to get this work order signed. So I can get to the poisoning. If I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripe saver, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy! You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably a really hard crosswood puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! Favor. I could have walked faster than this. Ah, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. Scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. I know that, Manny. My scythe. I know that. Um, there we go. Nice bathroom. <laughs> But we offer several travel package upgrades if you'd care to... Cut the yeah! I want something cheap where I can get some rest, and that's it! Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster, if you want it. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah! Slam the front into the weeds! Tub the rear end! Two blowers pop it out of the hood! You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. 
Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I on it? <laughs> Sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. All right. Well, I'm up here. No room for that. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Manny. Sorry. I'm just still. No, 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 no. Don't go in there. Thank you. Finally. Manny, what are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Man, I just... I don't know. This game is is so well written, and the, the voice acting is just great. and tells a wonderful story. I love this game. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Kelly, how you doing? So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo-choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. What did you do to get this job? You mean, what's my secret to success? No, I mean, how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit, and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you. But I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Well, that's all I wanted to ask. For now. Well, kid, come back anytime you feel like continuing your education. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I want my office back. Don't worry. You'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. What happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, see you in limbo. Oh, that's great. We should do this more often. You know what? I don't understand how he's able to drink something. I mean, you know, he's just a skeleton. I think Dom would call the company shrink if I left through the window. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. So, like, I, I mean, you got no tongue, you got no stomach. I guess, you know, his... The, the whiskey, like, would kind of go through him and like pool in his crotch area of his pants or something like that. Well, this is, this, I'm not, I'm not hitting the key. He's just freaking out. He just <laughs> doesn't know what he's doing. Oh my God, Manny. Oh, okay. He stopped. He stopped his wild seizure. All right, let's go to the elevator this time. Yay. Nothing different getting out of this place. 
<laughs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You think you're better than me? No. Good. That was interesting. to do what I need to be doing. I also wondered why everyone in this land of the dead seems to have vague Spanish accents. I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. <laughs> also, what happens if you die in the land of the dead? Man, this quest uh, this game has so many big and philosophical questions. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Robert Frost. Robert Frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Ta-da! This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. Oi, oh, any more stuff from him? My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez, what now? A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. There's no limit on those. That's not what balloons are for. Oh, okay. Put it away. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Right. Do you have any more dead? Well, sure. Oh, goody. Wouldn't you be weirded out, like if you were? I don't got you... the lungs for it. If you were a clown, and. Some dude came up to you and was like, yeah, yeah, twist me up a couple of dead worms, will you? I'm thinking, you know, what the hell's wrong with this guy? the other one goes on the red one. That's what she said. below that's one whoops didn't want to do that and there's number two <laughs> 
server's down again. What else is new? This room. This room. Come on. No, 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 Manny. There, finally. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. <laughs> Hi, I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they're like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Who would do a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mail room. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit, summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire, fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. I cannot move anywhere, in case you're wondering why we're all sitting here. Oh, not again! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher! Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here! What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste! <laughs> he just takes it. It's like, yeah, yeah, this room does need a fire extinguisher as much as I do. Oh, heaven forbid there should be a fire in here. Good enough for government work. So... I don't understand what the deal is with these summoned elementals uh, from the land of the dead they seem to keep getting screwed out of the jobs that they were specifically created for like um, I'm assuming that you know summoning an elemental from the land of the dead is no easy task but you know you, you summon uh, someone to be a driver but oh sorry there's no driving jobs available <laughs> Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh yeah, and it's even better company now. I'm in. Bueno, 
Buenos días. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? Sure. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. <laughs> never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Mean to animals? Oh, no. I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh huh. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Mechi. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now, if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please, call me Manny. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Funny bones in my office now. You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! I think that guy is proof of concept of someone being big boned because, again, you know, we're all just skeletons in this world, but that guy's still fat. Hey! Anybody out there? So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold.
The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? To the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a Reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel. Like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. Any messages for me? Yes. Huh. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Eva, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Doesn't Cabal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, man. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. 
If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! All right, and with that, I think it's uh, about time we bring this first part of Grim Fandango to a close. I certainly hope you enjoyed this first part of the Let's Play. This has been Joseph Bisaranovic Stalin, signing off for now, and I'll see you guys later.